No one really knows when or where the first baseball game was played or who invented the game. Maybe it truly was Abner Doubleday here in the village of Cooperstown, New York in 1839. Or so goes the legend. Baseball grew up after the Civil War, becoming the national pastime. And it remains today an American obsession for those who once played the game and wished they still could. The earliest professional teams began searching for a way to knock off the rust from winters of sedentary indulgence. This inspired an annual rite known as spring training, which caught on in the Arkansas resort town of Hot Springs. From the 1880s through the early part of the 20th century, the best who ever played the game came to work on their hitting and pitching and fielding in preparation for long seasons ahead with such teams as the Dodgers and Red Sox, and the Monarchs and Crawfords and Grays. They were the first boys of spring, and this is their story. Unveil those things. All right, stand the man. And word went out that here's a great place to not only play baseball, but perhaps most importantly, get in physical condition to have a successful season. Ownership felt they needed to boil out the alcoholic microbes. Hot Springs was known as a place that had therapeutic waters, and they came for that reason. And then the ball players turned out to love it because they really not only did get in shape, but they had a great time. These were the greatest players at the peak of their greatness, all gathering in the same small town. So you would have Honus Wagner, Babe Ruth, Trish Speaker, Cy Young. Uh, all these guys would be together in the same uh, nightclubs, the gambling casinos, the ball fields. The history is real here. We don't have to try to manufacture anything, dramatize anything, exaggerate anything. History was played right here. Thank you. 